Are you thinking about moving your e-commerce website to Shopify or WordPress? But the idea of copy-pasting tons of data from one website to another makes the idea unrealistic? Well, yes. Migrating from one platform to another can be problematic, especially if you are using a custom-coded platform or many different plugins. For such websites, the best option would be to scrape the data into a convenient CSV spreadsheet to then be able to migrate the data to your Shopify, WordPress, or just about any platform which supports CSV imports. As part of this tutorial, I will show you three different methods for scraping large amounts of data from websites using Hexomatic, the easiest no-code web scraping platform. To get started, you need to have a Hexomatic.com account. Once you have your account, let's explore some fast and easy ways for scraping the necessary data. Method 1. If the website you want to scrape has an XML sitemap for products, this can be a great starting point enabling you to get the URLs of every product of the page. Let me show you how you can extract all the URLs to scrape using the sitemap extractor automation in Hexomatic. Create a new workflow from data input. Add the sitemap URL using the manual paste list of inputs option. A typical structure of a sitemap looks like this. Once you have added the sitemap URL, add the XML sitemap extractor automation from the automations list, selecting data input as the source. After filling in all the required fields, click continue. And now you can run the workflow to get the results. After viewing the results, you can export them to CSV or Google Sheets. In this case, I recommend saving the results to a CSV file and then removing all the known product pages. After, you can use data input automation and scraping recipe to extract all the product data from your CSV file. Method 2. In cases when you don't have the website sitemap, you can use our Hexomatic crawler automation to get both internal and external page URLs. Create a new workflow from automation and find the crawler automation from the automations list. Edit, adding website URL to the crawl. You can also specify the URL type, set the URL limit and choose your proxy mode. You can use the ignore URLs containing option to filter out pages to exclude your product pages. After filling in all the required fields, click continue. And now run the workflow. Method 3. The third strategy I'm going to show you is using our two-step scraping. Essentially, we will scrape a top-level page. For example, it can be a product category page. And then for every product URL found on the page, we will do a second scrape to get the data from each product page. So, create a new blank scraping recipe. Next, add the URL of the category page listing and click Preview. Now, choose which elements you want to scrape. Select to scrape the title of the product, setting text as the type, and the product URL, selecting link URL as the type. After selecting the necessary elements, click Save. Now you need to create another scraping recipe to scrape the product detail pages. To do this, add the URL of one of the products and then click Preview. Select all the fields you want to capture, for example, the product title, short description, main description, images, ratings, etc. And now create a new workflow using a scraping recipe. First, add the first scraping recipe, which scrapes all the product URLs, and then the recipe for capturing data from each product page, selecting link URLs as the source, and click continue. Finally, you can run your workflow to get the scraped data. After viewing the results, you can export them to a CSV file. Now that we have all the necessary data scraped, I'll briefly present the steps to migrate the data to Shopify or WordPress with CSV export. For Shopify, most importantly, your CSV should match the Shopify CSV file format. Go to the products page in Shopify and click import. Next, you need to choose the file. In your file directory, locate your CSV file and click open. Each product should have a product handle and a product title in your CSV file. Click upload file. Shopify will show you a preview of your first product. And once your file is uploaded, you will get a confirmation email from Shopify. And finally, let's find out how to migrate your products to WooCommerce using a CSV file. When the import file is available, specify which data you want to import and then click continue. Once your import is completed, a message will appear informing you about the number of products imported from the file. You can find detailed instructions on how to perform the data upload to Shopify and WooCommerce 
by following the link in the description of our video. Once you have product or website data in a CSV format, you can use similar steps to migrate to just about any other website platform. So guys, thank you for watching this video. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. See you next time.